Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. I know that this one is coming a little bit late, but this is the second time that I am recording this video. The first time around, I really didn't like the quality of it. So I'm like, let me just do a little something different, set the tone. I am filming in my bedroom, got a little softbox in front of me, and we are going to talk about some beautiful fragrances for valentine's day which is tomorrow so if i don't chat with you guys tomorrow happy valentine's in advance i hope that you guys are spending that day with loved ones whether you are single or in a relationship still celebrate love and that's what it's all about so i have 10 fragrances with one honorable mention a lot of these are definitely on the sexy seductive side because i mean if you're going to show up for Valentine's Day, you're going to show up for Valentine's Day. So these are the fragrances that I would pick for myself. And I hope you enjoy this list of fragrances. Um, I tried not to repeat last year's list. And if you want to watch that, I will link it down below in the description box. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Become, become a part of our wonderful YouTube family. I would love that. Subscribe, okay? Hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a brand new video. And let's talk. If you guys want to know the entire makeup look that I have on today, it will be on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, go ahead and follow me. I did do a Valentine's Get Ready With Me video. So check out my Instagram for that. So let's go ahead and start with one that actually has not been mentioned on my channel just yet. I will have a haul video coming very soon. It's a very expensive niche haul video that i'm so excited for you guys to check out because these are new fragrances in my collection uh this is inisu side effect listen let's just give it up for this stunning bottle over here the presentation of inisu is absolutely to die for this fragrance is a beauty um, I find a ton of Inisiu fragrances that I have tried are definitely on that sensual, sexy, um, kind of erotic side. And the brand has flat out come out and said that that is what their fragrance is all about. They want people to feel sexy. And I think that they just do it completely right. Side effect is sweet. It's a little spicy. It's warm. Oh it is so beautiful it's inviting it has this very addictive sensual nature to it that will captivate you on the first spray it's quite um projecting so you don't have to over spray and it lasts forever on my skin it's um it's one of those scents that even though it is niche it's quite crowd pleasing i find that a ton of people will very much enjoy the scent it's not super complex but something about it is just oh it just grabs your attention and makes you feel absolutely sexy and seductive i love this one so much i know it's been getting quite a bit of hype and it's for all the right reasons this will definitely have you feeling some type of way on valentine's day i have one that is very sweet i know my fellas love sweetness on the girls so if you want to smell like a cinnamon cupcake or cinnamon bun full of spices and brown sugar I am going to recommend Kayali Vanilla 28. Now, when I first tried this out, I found it overly sweet. But with time, this scent really does deepen up. It doesn't smell quite the same as when I first got it in my hand. It smells a lot more rich and with character it has more depth to it i feel like i can pick up on more spices in this fragrance the sweetness in here is really like almost like caramelized it smells very very addictive like i have put quite a bit of dent on this new bottle that i just opened up recently because i had the smaller bottle which was the 50 mil and then i opened up my 100 mil because i gave away the 50 mil and i already have a dent on this and it's not even the end of the month it just smells a lot more 
oh refined and I've had this bottle for about a year and I just recently opened it and I'm so glad that I did I think I understand why people love it so much it really does make you feel amazing it's sweet it's rich it's a little spicy overall you have to like sweet scents the vanilla in here is a deeper bourbon vanilla almost to me like I really get the richness of this fragrance it's a very potent very very potent um not super super long lasting on the skin but on my clothes when I overspray I definitely feel like it lasts a lot longer I don't know this bottle is different than the first bottle that I had so I'm gonna go on to something that is a little bit more suave a little bit more beautiful not so much super seductive and this is Delina exclusive now you guys know that I absolutely adore the original Delina that is definitely my first love when it comes to niche fragrances but I wanted to recommend Delina exclusive because this one has this creaminess to her that is just so beautiful and um you get the DNA of Delina in this one, but I find it's less sharp and less almost like incense-y. In the original Delina, it's definitely a lot more potent in terms of the incense, the oud, and that tartiness. This one, it definitely has those elements, but it's like they're mellowed out and smoothed out. It's just a lot more creamy in my opinion and it just smells really beautiful really girly but at the same time it has this very like sensual vibe to it not so much sexy and raunchy <laughs> but it's more like a beautiful sensuality to it like a little bit more subtle with it you know what I mean it's really really a beautiful scent and again I've said this time and time again Parfums de Marley just creates magic all of the scents are high quality you are going to get your money's worth because they last really beautifully on the skin the sillage is incredible compliments are almost um immediately <laughs> these are beautiful so delina exclusive absolutely stunning so back to something a lot more sexy a bit more mature refined and you are just a woman okay you want to seduce the man today you want to seduce him for valentine's day there's nothing wrong with that this is nina richie lextas and this is the rose absolute i think it's what it's called this is the flanker so the one that i talk about all the time i recently got this one in my collection and honey Whew. <laughs> this is good this is good now I didn't want to mention the original Le Nina because I think I had mentioned it last year I do have the bottle over here so this is the original one the main differences that I'm noticing is this is less sweet like the praline note I don't know if it's in here but it's not super predominant as this one um, it's a little bit more mature uh, definitely more refined find than the original um nina richie lextis but this is just oh, it still has that beautiful sensuality sexiness seductive nature it's very similar to oud satin mood if you don't have that one i would recommend picking this baby up because it is a great price point it's a lady She's elegant, but she's super sexy and seductive in all the right ways. I mean, behind closed doors, you don't know what's going to happen because she knows her stuff. She's mature. Okay. She's seasoned in life. Oh, it is stunning. It is stunning. This is so elegant. I mean, I feel like this scent really commands attention. It is beautiful. So definitely recommend this one. This is also can be a signature scent 100 percent next up i have one that is one of my favorite fragrances that came from a designer house i feel like this is niche quality 100 percent this is c from giorgio armani la parfum um this is one of the flankers from the original c last year i did recommend c fiore because i think it's just a beautiful scent but this year i'm gonna go with this flanker i will link it down below as well as all the other fragrances that i'm talking about 
oh, what can I say that I haven't said already? This one is a little bit more boozy. It's more mature. It's ladylike. It's confident. Um, it is assertive. Like if you have not tried Cila Parfum, please try it out. Highly underrated. I didn't hear much people talking about this one, but it is a gorgeous scent. Like I love, 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 love this one. Um, it's not as sweet as the original C. It just has more of that mature touch to it. You are going to get a bit of, I think there's patchouli in here because I do pick up some sort of patchouli note, but to me, it's a lot more boozy. It's a lot more grown and sophisticated. It's quite elegant, but there's something about this that has like a bit of a sexy nature to it. Oh, I love this one. It's very wearable, very classy, but something just is super refined and gives me niche vibes with this fragrance. So I would definitely recommend C La Perfume. If you don't have the La Perfume, C Fiore is absolutely gorgeous for Valentine's Day. And so is also the original C. I love, love them. So look out for my video on all of my C collection. I'll come out with that very, very soon. Okay, let's go on to one that is highly potent. You don't need many sprays of this or you are going to intoxicate the entire room and your significant other. So go light-handed with this one. But this fragrance just has this like addictiveness to it, okay? This is Mancera's Instant Crush. And here is that bottle. This fragrance is highly potent long lasting and the sillage is very very loud it's sweet it's floral it's like a satiny kind of fragrance now that that like synthetic note in here is still there but it's quite mellowed out compared to the other Mancera uh, fragrances. It actually intertwines really nicely with all of the other notes. I just find this is like, the name for it is perfect because when you spray this, you are going to have an instant crush with this fragrance. You're gonna wanna wear it time and time again. It is highly addictive. I'm actually gonna spray it far from me because it's so potent. Oh yeah, it just it just hits you. Like the notes are really really well blended that it's kind of hard to pinpoint every single note in this fragrance, but all I know is that it's sweet, it is airy, but at the same time it's a little spicy. It's quite lavish and I can see a ton of different age groups pulling this off. Like I don't find this super mature, but I also don't find it super juvenile. It is definitely kind of like a universal type of fragrance, but it's so addictive and it's very pleasing for someone to smell around you. Again, it's highly concentrated, literally concentrated to the max. So go very light handed. I would say two to three sprays max and you are good for the entire evening, the entire day, okay? And the next day, it's gonna be there. It is absolutely stunning. That is Mancera's Instant Crush. Let's go on to something that is a little bit less um, loud and just really beautiful and wearable. This one really surprised me when I first got it. I still absolutely love it. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I mean, I hate the font. I feel like the bottle is so pretty and sophisticated that they could have did better with the font, but the scent is beautiful. This is a white floral fragrance that is more on the elegant side. Oh my God. Something about this just smells like a beautiful, elegant woman. She is very well put together quite sophisticated and it's just that's just her nature that's just her personality and it smells really beautiful there's this airy nature to it so it's not super dark and overwhelming it's a very like wearable scent you can probably wear this all year round and it sits gorgeously on the skin. You could definitely overspray this one. It's not super potent and super projecting. So I would definitely overspray if you want, you know, it to kind of fill the room a little bit more. I would overspray this one. But if you just want a scent that is pleasing, 
beautiful, elegant, um, refined, and definitely something that most people will enjoy. This is the one. It is so pretty. Like, I think they did an incredible job. I've smelled quite a few of like the only one and the one. Out of all of them, this for me is the best by far. Now y'all know I had to have a Tom Ford fragrance in my list, but I did not come and recommend Pour Femme because I recommended it last year. I still stand by it. It is absolutely stunning. But this year I'm going to recommend Tobacco Vanille. Ooh! guys i added this to my collection recently and i am so in love with tobacco vanille now the name might be a little bit scary tobacco you know some people might run away from that but honey the tobacco in here it's um the note is not just tobacco i think it's like a tobacco leaf or something like that but it causes this very airy tobacco note that almost leans gourmandish when it intertwines with all of the other notes in this fragrance. It is sophisticated, it's refined, it's lavish, it is just rich and a little spicy, a little woody. Oh, I love this one so much. It just smells like a Tom Ford fragrances. Like this, there's like that Tom Ford DNA. And I just think he just made this one beautiful. The vanilla in here, to me, it's quite airy and kind of refreshing, almost like a baking vanilla. Oh, and you can just smell this. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Like, I know that this is unisex, but to me, it leans very feminine. So all of my ladies out there, do not be afraid of this one. It is gorgeous. Get you a sample. It is gorgeous. To me, between Tobacco Vanille, Vanille Fatale, and Noir Du Noir, Tobacco Vanille wins. It is stunning. I definitely feel like this one wins over those other ones. If you want a really beautiful vanilla scent with a little bit more character, this refined nature to it has a little bit of sexiness quality, depending on how you wear it. Because, you know, with fragrances, I feel like depending on your personality, your presentation, the way you are dressed, maybe you got some makeup on, your hair, you really can take that fragrance to an entire level and create this ambiance with your fragrance. So it really depends how you wear it. But I think if you are, you know, a little bit more dressed up for the occasion this can become super super sexy and then my other fragrance that i have here before i go on to my honorable mention is this very another very elegant um sexy uh fragrance that is very ladylike i mean who she's confident i mean this is like bedroom lingerie vibes to me all the way this is navitas perfumes soir exclusive in collaboration with big beard business he did an incredible job with this fragrance and all of the other fragrances in the collection are very beautiful but this one spoke to me all the way you just look at the bottle and you know this is going to be fire if you look up the notes of this fragrance you are going to be blown away because he combined some of the most stunning notes together and created elegance i mean this is sexy elegant alluring sensual very rich spicy a little gourmandish if you will Oh, it just smells very unique. Also, there's not a fragrance in my collection that I can compare this to. It's just that vibe. The vibe is really, really there. It makes me feel super put together, super confident, a little sexy. Oh, it's stunning. It's definitely a special occasion type of fragrance, not casual at all to me. The name matches with the actual juice. Bravo, congrats to him. He did an incredible job. And last but not least, I have an honorable mention. I do know that many of us are going to spend Valentine's Day at home as there is still a large lockdown around the world. So I wanted to give you guys something that was just very mellowed out, but beautiful, very wearable. And um, I feel like everyone will love this scent. This is Kayali Musk 12. And it's this little guy over here that I've put quite a big dent 
I just love this scent. When it comes to musk, I can't do heavy musk scents. Like some of them will come off like dirty. Like they just smell like sweaty, dirty skin. This, oh my gosh. I I just, I honestly, I'm gonna put it on this hand. I don't know, oh, and that atomizer, that atomizer, oh, the smoothness of that. I don't know how they came up with this, but this smells like clean skin, just out the shower, you moisturize your skin with some kind of scented cream, like a rich cream. You sprayed your body with a beautiful, light scented fragrance. And this is what you got from it. It just smells lovely. It smells beautiful. It smells almost comforting at the same time. I love this scent. I love the scents for every day, for something that you want to really cozy up, Netflix and chill without um, being too obnoxious and offending someone with your scent. This is perfection in a bottle. It is absolutely gorgeous. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. I know it came very, very late, but um, I hope you guys are doing fantastic and are going to enjoy this love day however you choose to do it in your pajamas or a little bit more dressed up and um thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel you just stumbled by and watch the video till the end subscribe give it a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below let me know what are you going to be wearing for valentine's day for me, I will say I'm kind of on the fence between these two over here. So it will either be in this you side effect or like Stace, uh, Rose Absolute, I think that's what you call it, <laughs> from Nina Richie. So one of these two are going to be worn tomorrow. If you guys want to know which one it is, go check it out on my Instagram because I will have a video on that. So I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!